Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about aliasing table names. So whenever you think that uh, writing all these table names and prefixing all the column names with all the table names, oh my god, that is a lot of work. Now that is when aliasing table names comes to the rescue. So how does that actually work? Now let's construct a simple query. So we are going to say uh, select, I'm going to say departments dot, so we are table qualifying column names, uh, dot department, department underscore ID. So we have departments dot department ID. This is the department ID column. And I could basically copy this and put it here. And we also have the department underscore name. You can see that this is like a lot of work writing this departments. Now, what is the shorter way? First, let me just run this code. So I'm just going to come in this one, uh, cut it, save this, let's run it. We know what this is going to give us. This is going to give us the department ID along with the department name. Now, how can we use aliasing table names? So aliasing allows us to write to make these table names a lot shorter. How can we actually do that? So this is going to be example number 19. Now, in front of this, we used aliasing whenever we work with, uh, I think we we did it like a couple of times or a few times. I'm not really sure on that. We did it, I think, with the NumPy um, library that mo or module that we work with. And we said NumPy is very long, so we're just going to alias it as NP. I think it was NP. And... Uh, we basically do the same thing here. So in the from class, the only difference is that we do not write the as keyword. We just say um, from departments. Now, whatever you write after the departments, which is the table name, is going to be an alias to the departments table. It is completely up to you whether you write D as the alias or you write D-E-P-T as the alias. So I'm just going to write D, like the first letter. And you can basically say D dot department ID and D dot department name. There we go. So basically what we did was we grabbed this department's table. We aliased it. <laughs> aliased it. I'm not sure if that is a verb. We provided it with an alias and uh, that alias is D. So whenever we want to table qualify column names, we just need to use D dot. So department ID dot, this is going to be the child column of this table parent. And this dot is going to be the relationship. So if I run this code again, we should be able to see the same result. There we go. So this is called... Um, uh, aliasing table names and from now onwards most of the times we are going to use this syntax so we are basically going to grab our table provide it with an alias and use that alias inside our column names this is going to be it for this lecture see you in the next one